For this painted study, we're going to continue to work with the idea of simultaneous contrast. Looking to the color aid cut paper studies that we prepared before, we're going to start with the color combination in one of those successful color aid studies and use that as a template or palette for this painting. This study is open to work with simplified imagery or abstract formal ideas. Um, that is entirely up to you. The composition can or does not need to be the same as your color aid study. I've chosen a composition of the basic shapes of two horseshoe crabs. Uh, the horseshoe crab is a particular interest of mine as they are a living fossil. They have been uh, they've been around since the Ordovician era, the same era as ammonites, nautiloids, and trilobites. Keeping in line with the palette from my um, three looks like two study, I am developing a set of colors that will aim to do the same thing in paint. I'm simultaneously working with all three colors in this study, both grounds and the key color. Pushing the violet towards orange and pushing the orange towards violet in order to create a middle ground, a middle mixture of sorts that will settle on the grounds in a way that approaches the opposite ground. found a neutralized orange-brown type color that on the violet ground appears orange and on the orange ground approaches violet. I've taken care to see that the value of this color is between the darker value of the violet and the lighter value of the coral orange. I found that a direct middle mixture of the orange mixed with the violet did not create a color that appeared to approach the grounds on either side. I had to continue manipulating that color, bringing in more violet, more orange, and in the end, actually more magenta. I am creating this plant that was a contemporary, the landscape of the horseshoe crab, as a key to this painting. 